right yes you are seeing correct i do have 2363 points in this final boss trio of troublemakers and this final boss has only been up for almost two days and if you want to know how to get this many points and if not even more i think this is actually uh, almost the limit of what you need to buy everything in the shop i will also do that later in the video so stick around uh, but the main part of this video is talking about how I got this many in such a short amount of time. First of all, I do want to say I do have a full-time job. So also, I haven't played it. Like, I haven't played this final boss for that long. I would say I've played it for like a couple of hours. Ma mainly, let's say, four hours to five hours. So it's pretty easy to get compared to Final Boss Eskinor if you've played that one. That was a difficult one. I usually don't get this many points and buy all the cosmetic pieces and stuff you can buy in the shop uh, but this one was so easy that i had to just grind it so there's a really easy team you can use you can always use different teams but this one i'm primarily going to show in this video is going to be the team right here so this is the team i'm running assault mode Meliodas. you don't need to run this exact same team the main part of this team is obviously assault mode milieu so if you aren't aware of this final boss we can actually take a round here okay future me i decided to re-record the battle in the extreme rather than hard to give a better idea of how easy this boss is and you don't need to run attack food i just do it to clear it faster uh just obviously yeah the, it explains itself so it's self-explanatory and also i am going to be playing in extreme solo assault mode Meliodas. the reason i'm not going to do it in hell mode um, or i am going to play it in hard mode excuse me the reason i'm not going to be playing extreme mode this difficulty is due to the fact that it takes such a long time for him to clear it on auto so the first thing we're going to do here is chuck away zeldris's cards here we just want to get rid of those we can get more Meliodas cards once they buff Meliodas up here so this is just what we're going to do um nothing too interesting here they are going to buff him and the thing is with assaultment Meliodas uh, is that they're not going to remove his buff uh, just in general any characters they aren't going to remove buff and they also don't remove their own buffs or debuffs excuse me so if you aren't aware once they do attack anyone on the team they apply debuffs on themselves because of Meliodas is passive except for Hauser he does not he's debuff immunity so if you can see they get apply these defense related stats decrease by 15 percent obviously you're going to deal more damage by that so we're just going to chuck away into hauser here or gil thunder excuse me as you can see there we go got some decent damage on zeldris kills gil thunder here and hopefully this might kill Grimoire. i'm not too sure almost almost but again this is the extreme difficulty, the hardest difficulty, and this compared to Final Eskinor is a joke. This is jokes, man. Like, what is this? This feels like, like extreme feels like the easiest of easiest difficulties that could ever be. So let's use an AoE again. Let's use the Zeldra's card and his ultimate. He's going to tank that real hard Grimoire because of the defense shield thing he's put up. So the ultimate here is going to have to kill him. There we go. Um, obviously there isn't really a reason to play extreme mode unless you play manually because you are going to get more points. You will get around 40 points per win. So we're going to just kill him here. Um, so yeah, that's the only reason you would want to play in, uh, in extreme. Uh, the thing is with final bosses you can't repeat them playing it by itself obviously you can put it on auto but they're not going to repeat the the boss itself so you have to click that manual as well that is a bit of annoy that is a bit annoying when playing final boss just letting you know i actually think this is this will kill surely this will kill i know i only have one buff on me but come on the thing is this is annoying with houses as well because he gains so much health with the buffs he has on himself. But again, not that it matters too much. So now we move on into the second phase. So unfortunately, Meliodas doesn't have a lot of buffs. And he's not going to get his ultimate. It's going to be instantly removed in this phase, which is kind of annoying. So he can't gain the buffs instantly. But again, oh well, it is fine. We can just chuck away some 
There we are, we can't and kill the Gil Thunder. Yep, there we go. So let's buff up here. Actually, let's not go for Gil Thunder since he's going to attack. So let's just go everything into Griamor. Because we want them to attack my Meliodas. Because if we kill Gil Thunder here, Meliodas is going to deal absolutely no damage. So let's chuck away in here. Because Gil Thunder is actually also one of the most annoying ones. Or oh, Griamor, excuse me. Gil Thunder is just the easiest one to kill. There we go, and he's going to apply one more buff to me. And now we can just use double AoE. And chuck this into Hauser. So let's do this. Hopefully that kills Grimor. Unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. That almost killed Hauser, but next turn we should be able to kill everyone. Yes, we should definitely be able to kill everyone here. Um, so yeah, that is how easy this is in extreme. The hardest difficulty, as you can see. Not difficult at all, but very good uh, compared to Final Best Escanor. It's, it's also very nice to have such a relief and not having to uh, like have such a hard time. Because I know a lot of people struggle with Escanor, especially me, as myself. I, I struggle a lot, even the, the easiest difficulty, I think, was called normal or whatever. I struggled with that massively i couldn't farm his stuff i only got eskinos cosmetic pieces and then i just dipped like i even had a difficult time clearing an extreme like i had to upgrade units do this and that so this is a big relief and like it's it's a much needed uh, final boss uh, instead of eskino again or some eskino difficulty kind of kind of stuff so this should kill hauser here or not hauser excuse me kill thunder so that is it for extreme so you will get around 40 i think it's 43 at least or something and also i do get higher points for some reason and i'm not too sure what the missions are you have to complete uh, but apparently from just doing that normally i got 3453 i haven't made a proper team to get the high score and somehow i managed to get this score but we are going to try and clear it in heart with just Meliodas alone i do have you argue on him it doesn't really matter too much. Just to show that you don't need your R gear, I will change it. So this is Meliodas, as you can see, attached to uh, Meliodas. I will put on a different set. So this is Sariel's set here. So he's not going to get the extra buffs here. Uh, but I just do want to show you don't need. And you don't need to start turn 1. It's actually better to start turn 2. Um... Because they are going to attack Meliodas first, giving him buffs. And we are also going to put it on auto here. So it's obviously going to take a lot longer because um, the AI might, might not be the smartest sometimes. Especially in terms of how to kill properly. Uh, but what's definitely kind of annoying is uh, Hauser, if he keeps buffing himself. So we did get a good card turn 1 here, or draw turn 1. Uh, because we got the AoE, so hopefully the... The AI uses the golden AOE here. And they should apply three or four buffs to us. Yes. And don't worry about your health. You can run attack food if you want to just clear it faster. I do recommend doing that. Uh, but it's not a necessary or necessity. So let's see how much this does. Okay. Half health of Grimor. Not bad. Not bad. And we got his ultimate. Uh, unfortunately, my Meliodas ultimate is only one out of six. So it's not going to kill them all I, I think um, so yeah it obviously depends on how many copies of assault melee you got okay nice luckily that managed to kill if it wasn't extreme I know that doesn't kill uh, but yeah it's nice to see that I killed here so it's moving on to the second phase here and as you can see it's even quicker than extreme like just running solo because uh, you just get Meliodas cards and Meliodas obviously does the most damage because he gets a lot of buff so I do recommend the f the fastest and most AFKable strat is just to put this on auto in in hard mode, excuse me, and just have assault mode. Maybe I'll just go ham at it. Um, you can obviously use different teams, but again, this is just the the one I prefer to use. There's probably other teams, so yeah, use a, use whatever that works for you. So the thing here is my Melio is going to use the. The uh, AoE card, the level 2 AoE card, hopefully, no, you see, hopefully kills Grimoire, nice, okay, so that's at least good as well, uh, I don't think the AoE would have killed anyway, so, 
Okay, it's probably gonna use the single target, which I hope it doesn't. Come on, use the AoE. And the AoE should almost actually, I don't think the AoE is gonna be enough anyways. But that is definitely gonna kill. Yep. So now we only have Hounds left. Um, and we do have an ultimate, so that's not gonna be a problem, especially because it's extreme. And again, I do not have Uargear put on my Meliodas. That is Saril's Uargear. Oh, so that's actually gonna give us the ultimate. So let's see. Will this kill? Nope. Unfortunately not, unfortunately not. But hopefully it goes with a single target here and kills him. I'm not too sure if this was even faster than the extreme. Uh, on, obviously it's faster than the extreme because it's hard difficulty. But again, you obviously get less points. You get around 20 something plus. Uh, so you get double by playing extreme. So I was lucky at getting 30, 29. We can actually take a look here and see what's the, what's the minimum amount of points you can get for, for the difficulty. So if you do plan to play it on normal, you can get a maximum of 16 and a minimum of 10 points. Uh, the hard one gives you a maximum of 32 and a minimum of 26. We've actually got the silver box there. And the extreme gives you a maximum of 48 and a minimum of 42. So yeah. Uh, in one extreme run, that's basically almost too hard one, depending on if you get the golden box. But uh, generally, you will get like the silver box because there is a 40 to 30 percent, or actually a 40 percent. So most most likely to get a silver box. Uh, I do recommend just playing on a hard, put it on auto, and it will do it all by itself. Um, so with that being said, let us purchase everything from the shop. So I do have 2,389 now. I think you need around 2,200 or maybe actually 2,300 to purchase everything. Uh, let's see, maybe I have... I'm not too sure. I'm just guessing right now. Okay, that was expensive. 600 for those. You know what? I want to get these before I get the chest if I don't have enough. Because it's the first time like I'm able to buy this. Like It feels so weird just spending all of these points. But again... It, it, it hasn't taken a long time, as you can see, the, the boss hasn't been up for that long. Okay, so we have 189 left. We basically need 11 more to purchase everything. So you need 2,300 to purchase everything from the final boss event. So that is already done and farmed. I don't need to do this anymore. Also, due to the fact that if we go back in to the final boss here, um, you will see that I do have a top 5% score. So if we check the rankings here, I will get the gems as well, obviously. Um, and I also get these, so I don't worry about anything there. So I can just leave final boss alone, never touching this until the 12th day is over or until we get a new one. So yeah, if you enjoyed it, let me know. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Bye.